What up guys, welcome back to 88-Bit Tech, I'm AJ and today I've got another AliExpress review for you. This time it is the KingFast 2TB F7 SATA 3 SSD that I got on a promotion and sale off of AliExpress for $60.44 taxes and delivery included. An amazing deal for that amount of storage, but is it a scam? Let's find out. Okay, let's first go over the listing. Right now it's currently all sold out, so hopefully it'll be restocked in the future. I took a bit of a gamble with this. I don't normally purchase with uh, items that have such low review numbers and such a low sold count. So it only had 13 reviews, 37 sold. But it was $90 Australian, equivalent to 60 US dollars for 2 terabytes. And it seemed pretty legit, and you know what, I was willing to risk it for you guys. And I'm glad I did because I was pleasantly surprised by the performance. So this is what it looks like here. 550 megabytes uh, per second read and 500 write on these. So let's just go ahead and get straight into the results here. I ran H2 test W to fill the drive to capacity because I wanted to make sure that we actually had two terabytes. You might notice that it actually uh, listed as 1.86 terabytes, which is correct. That's just happened. That's just due to the, the the conversion about of how one terabyte is gets converted within uh, within Windows. So 1.86 is equivalent to two terabytes. But I filled the entire drive, and as you can see here, guys, the test finished without any errors. Writing speed on average dropped down to 89.8 megabytes per second across the whole. Uh, across the whole SSD and the read speeds drop down to 382 megabytes per second way faster than an HDD. I ran the crystal disk mark benchmark on this. The settings were set to default so I, t I took it off NVMe so we can get a proper result here. Profile was uh, normal sta standard read and write. Um, I did nine passes at 64 gigabytes and you can see here that's the two gigabyte drive there and we got a we want to look at the second line because that's the real world performance we got a read speed of 548.5 megabytes per second which is excellent and a write speed of 506.08 so that was at zero percent capacity so no surprise there that it's going to report so i repeated the test using h2 test w to fill to certain percentages so we got 25 percent and at 25%, we, we ran it again at 9 passes at 64 gigabytes. Oh, we got 547.9 on the read speed and 504.55 on the write. Oh, and I also opened up HW Info to track the KingFast SSD temperatures, and it seems to be fine. But I think this might be bugged. I don't think it's actually reading the correct temperatures. We fill up the drive to 50% capacity, and we got the read speeds to drop here to 500.51 on the read and 502.21 on the write. At 75% we do get a read speed of 501.99 and a write speed of 468.69 so it is casually dropping off. I should mention that so you see that the average write speed is 89.8 it did take six hours to complete fill this drive and normally it shouldn't take that long what I suspect is happening is as we approach the full capacity and this happens with any SSD your write speeds and your read speeds will drop as we get closer and closer to filling so considering that at 75 percent the drive was still at a 500 write that's really good so I imagine what is happening is here when we are at almost full capacity, the write speeds dropped to so low of a number that it brought down the average to 89.8. Um, and that's why it took 600, or that's why it took six hours to write the whole drive. However, the read speeds maintained a pretty good average overall read. So 382 megabytes per second across the entire write of this. And as you can see, at 75%, it was still at 500. So that's a really good value. Two terabytes for $60, you really can't complain. It's the actual capacity, and the speeds are held through a majority of the drive. 
Um, really great value uh, now. Just to, I'm, I am actually using it as a game drive on my computer, so hopefully it will stand the test of time. We'll also get into the speeds of this compared to an SSD. So I, I tested the loading speeds of the Kingfast A F7 SSD against my Samsung 980 Pro uh, M.2 NVMe Gen 4x4 SSD that has a read speed of 7,000 and a, a like a, a write speed of like 6,000 or something like that. Um, so it's probably not going to be the fairest of tests, but it's going to put some perspective into um, why SATA SSDs are actually not a bad option for a lot of people. So let's get into the test. So the first game I tested is Starfield. It is filled with loading screens and different load animations. Um, I did it on three separate tests here. First, I tested the startup. So the blue in, on the graphs here uh, represent uh, the Samsung 980 Pro and the red represents the Kingfast A7. So startup time for the Samsung 980 Pro on Starfield was 18.62 seconds versus the Kingfast SSD less than a one second difference at 19.19 seconds for startup. Now where it will differ quite a bit more is in the game loads and the uh, like different different loading times during the actual game. So for loading a save game it took the Samsung 980 Pro 16.11 seconds to get into the game versus the Kingfast A7 took 20.24 seconds. If we crunch the numbers here for the for loading a game, that's actually between the uh, M.2 NVMe SSD to the SSD or the SATA 3 SSD, it's a 25% difference in performance for the loading times, which is very significant. However, it's only four seconds more in reality. So it's not that much more to load a game on a SATA SSD. Now, in game, I was in the Crick system, jumping to the mass to mass district, which is another system that takes quite a while to load. With the Samsung 980 Pro, we got 12.41 seconds uh, to for that jump to the mass district to completely to complete and load. And then with the Kingfast A7, we got 15.9 seconds. So, with loading times in the actual game. Um, that is a 28% difference uh, between the M.2 NVMe versus the, the SATA 3 SSD. <sighs> sounds huge. I know it sounds like a lot. However, in reality, it's, it's just a little over 3 seconds more than the SSD. So you're shaving off... Yeah. Well, it's, it's shaving off three seconds. It is faster. Don't get me wrong. Like 100%. If you've got the money and the budget to go for an M.2 NVMe SSD, go for that. It's going to be faster. Obviously, the Samsung 980 Pro is at that upper uh, echelon of Gen 4x4 SSDs. Um, so it's going to be the fastest that you can get. But if you have a SATA SSD, you're not going to be hurting by that much. And honestly, you're saving much more. There is no way in hell that you're going to find an M.2 NVMe SSD, two terabytes of it, for 60 US dollars delivered, including taxes. It's an incredible value. I'm so glad that I was able to pick this up before it sold out. Like I said, it's no longer available on AliExpress. I'll leave a link into the, in the description for the product. So you can check it out for yourself, and when it does come back, hopefully it's on sale again. Um, I do know that um, Somnambulist is also uh, running a, a sale right now on a from one of the, from a reputable vendor for a two terabyte that's around ninety three Australian dollars. So it's a little over sixty US dollars for that one. So that one would be a really good deal. But the only thing is, I can't. I um, I haven't tested that one. I did pick up a 512 gigabyte Sonambulus that I am, I am going to test, but um, I I can't outright recommend that one just because I don't um, I haven't used it. However, if you did want to check out that deal, I'll leave a link uh, to that Sonambulus one. It's a, it is an affiliate link, uh, and it will help me out if you decide to get it through that link. And then I also tested out Cyberpunk 
2077 on my M.2 NVMe SSD versus this the SATA 3 SSD. Okay, so for the Samsung, the startup took 55.78 seconds versus the Kingfast SSD took 58.13. So that's a difference of only less than three second difference for the start time. For the game loading times, it's a one second difference, basically, essentially a one second difference. It took 5.8 seconds to load into game and 6.8 uh, with the Samsung and 6.82 seconds with the Kingfast. You're not going to notice the di these differences in day-to-day -day for this particular game. If you do have any questions regarding this drive, please feel free to leave a comment in the description. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like the video, please like the video as it really does help the channel out. And if you want to see more content that I release, please click on my face over here uh, and subscribe. And if you want to see other dope videos that I've released, check out these two videos over here. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.